Welcome. We're going to look real quickly here at some before and after images of lawn spaces converted to designed meadow gardens. Here's uh, two acres we did at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. This is a very steep slope, about a 45 degree grade. So the management maintenance crew was thrilled uh, when the university decided to convert this from lawn to uh, urban prairie spaces. There it is uh, after, in the first growing season. So we sowed it in the fall and a lot of early succession perennials and annuals and biennials coming up here in the first full growing season. Here's an urban infill, a sustainable net zero home here with solar panels and geothermal and the whole nine yards. Uh, homeowners said they did not want any lawn at all. And I said, cool, awesome, marry me. Here's what it looked like three years later in the middle of summer. Uh, wonderful drifts and masses of all kinds of different native perennial species in a matrix or green mulch of little blue stem grass. Here is a urban shade meadow in Lincoln, Nebraska. Very tall uh, uh, oak trees in the canopy above. So some very deep shade for most of this. So went with uh, shade tolerant woodland species. So a matrix or green mulch of different sedge species uh, with masses and drifts of uh, a variety of woodland forb and ephemeral species. And there's your after. This is this is one year later after planting. The said you're doing very well, and they do tend to establish quicker than many of the perennial uh, forb species. So this is totally typical uh, seen in the first spring. Here we are back at the University of Nebraska Medical Center on another parking lot edge. This bed is probably only about 20 feet deep or so. You can see it was not in very good shape uh, when we were out seeding this project in fall. Here we are, uh, two years later, we still have a lot of early succession annuals and biennials and uh, early succession perennials in there as well. Um, but you can see it's doing a good job of healing the site, sequestering carbon, cleaning and cooling that dirty urban air. Very important, especially around medical hospital settings. And of course, it's helping filter water and keep runoff uh, out of storm drains as well. Love doing all these suburban projects where we are converting part of lawn. You don't have to go all the way in if you don't want to, but I certainly encourage you to because, hey, that's what I'm all about here. Uh, but here's just a couple hundred square feet. And the more examples we have of these in areas, the more accepted it's going to be. Here's the after. We did a matrix green mulch ground cover of Cytos grama budalua curtipendula. And in there we have about 10 different four species. So this is a late June image here. Uh, one acre lot, just barely out of the city limits. These are about 25 or 30 foot deep beds. We did around three sides of the backyard. A family really wanted to engage with a lot of nature and see what wildlife would come to a native prairie um, meadow landscape. So here we killed the lawn, planted forbs, four plugs into it in the fall, came back in the spring and sowed in side oats grama grass. And this is what you get in the second summer, the second growing season. Another suburban front yard, uh, probably about a thousand square feet. And we took most of that out here. And here's what it looked like about seven or eight years later. A lot of little boost them in there. Three different grass species, probably at least 15 different forb species in here as well. There is a lawn path that's about six feet wide going up to the middle of these two beds to show design and tension and give access to people showing that the space is more intentional. I hope you are up to the challenge. Uh, thinking forward thinking, I know you are if you're here on this channel. Um, feel free to check out what we have to offer at monarchguard.com, Monarch Gardens, Prairie Inspired Design. Prairie App.